having a conversation. Great. Welcome down like this. That's great. Okay. All right. So if you just want to state your name mm -hmm. and then state your business as well. So. Okay, so I'm Caitlin Coons. I own Caitlin's Closet. It's an online clothing boutique for women. So I sell women's fashion, clothing, and accessories. Awesome. So where did your desire come from creating this? That's funny. When I was younger, I started with lemonade stands. I sold like lemonade stands every day during the summer. I didn't want to go out and play. I wanted to be a businesswoman. And so I started that. And then my grandma showed me a couple um, different patterns for different things I could make and sell. And when I was 12 years old, I started my own catalog. It was called Caitlin's Closet. And I sold little fleece hats that I made and then little purses. And since then, I've just been really interested in fashion. And I graduated in business. And it's what I wanted to do was just open my own clothing store so awesome yeah. and uh, so you said your business was major like your major was business within college mm -hmm. yes okay. it was awesome and so from that do you feel like the information that you gained from it did it really help you within this business? Did it help you progress and grow? It definitely did. Um, because I had an idea of what I really wanted to do beforehand, I kind of went through my whole business degree thinking, how could this impact my future business? You know, how could this help my clothing store? What am I learning that, you know, I could use in my business? So the whole, uh, the whole four years was just a huge discovery period for me just to learn what I needed to do to become better and to better this business. So okay. awesome. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, do you want to just tell me a little bit about like where your business is run and uh, I yes. guess how you prepare all of the inventory? <laughs> yes. So it's a really small um, online clothing boutique and then we do shows just throughout East Idaho and then we're starting to do some in Utah. But So mostly what I do is I market online through social media and um, just different blogs, fashion blogs and websites. I try to market mostly online and then we sell our product um, through my website called Caitlin's Closet. And then um, I package it here in my house. I keep the inventory just in a storage unit a couple blocks away and I bring it back and so I come back and forth depending on what I'm doing. So I package everything here in my house and then I ship it out through the post office. So that's basically the process of how I get the inventory to people. And then you know, I have lived in Rexburg for four years. There's a lot of little clothing boutiques in this area, and it seems to me that they all sell similar items, very similar, and it seems just to be. Um, I don't know, when I go to the store, I find the same things every time, you know? And so I wanted to do something unique and different so that people around campus or, you know, college students or even moms out with their kids aren't running into somebody on the street who's wearing the exact same thing that they are because I see that all the time. And so I wanted something unique and different and that's kind of what we guarantee at our boutique and what we advertise and market is that when you buy a product from us, nobody else is going to have it. You're not gonna see the lady on the street wearing it or you're not gonna see, you know, it in your best friend's closet or something. So it's very unique, it's very different, and we guarantee that. So we've kind of made a little, um, just a little slogan, I guess, or a little marketing um, tactic, I guess. Yeah, I guess a little slogan. We've made a little slogan that basically says, if you find somebody else wearing this item, return it to us, because we want you to feel unique and different all the time, and you deserve to be original, so. So you're hoping that your closet is original. <laughs> yes, definitely. <laughs> and it is. I have a different taste than most people, and that's what I kind of pride myself in. Is it just it's different. It's not something you're going to find at your boutique just down the down the street. So mm -hmm. now, I keep hearing you say we. Mm -hmm. So who else is involved within Caitlin's closet? <laughs> um, well, I started this, and actually, I have some family members who are really into fashion, and so they help me buy the clothing. I have. Um, just a niece who's coming up to college, she's going into the same thing I did. She's doing business and she wants to have her own clothing store. And so she's helped me a lot with that, but mostly it's me and my husband. My husband bounces off ideas, we bounce ideas off each other all the time. And so he's a huge support system to me. Obviously he doesn't deal with a lot of the operational things, you know, he's not wearing the clothing or advertising it like me, but um, he's definitely there and he helps me every step of the way. So he really is a, big part of the business. And so mm -hmm. do you want to tell me about your other jobs that you have? I mean, how many other jobs? Right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. 
So just explain yeah. that to me and maybe how you're able to juggle that business along with Caitlin's closet and your personal life. Okay. Well, I actually worked at Maurice's for a long time and so I got a lot of my fashion ideas from there. I saw the new and incoming colors that, you know, were coming in and and so a lot of my ideas came from that. I also work on campus full time. I'm a buyer on campus and so I do the same thing that I do for my business. I buy stuff for the university. For Caitlin's Closet I buy it just for the business. But um, anyway, yeah, it's, it's a lot but I love the fact that I can come home and do this at home whenever I need to. And I hope in the future that I can grow this business big enough that I don't have to have a full time job. That I can come home, I can be with my family, I can do the things I need to do here here and on the side I can you know do my business from home so it's really the goal. And is there anything else that you'd like to share about your business? What's your favorite um, thing about owning your own business? Oh I love being involved in every single aspect of it. I think it's super fun just to have something different to do every day and I can have my own ideas and unique ways of doing things and I get to do them without having to look up to anyone for approval or you know so the fun thing is is all the variety I'm going and I'm buying I'm buying merchandise I'm marketing my product I'm communicating with all my customers I'm sell I'm direct selling it when we go to expos and then I'm shipping it and um, you know I really really have a passion for making customers happy and finding something that fits them and I love being personal with my customers so when we ship out items I write a note to every to every customer and hope they like the merchandise and if they have any problems call me you know so I love making it personal for the customers and you know helping them find products that work for them so all right awesome that is good great <laughs> you so you're welcome